The protest in Planned Parenthood. Now, I'm not a fan of abortion. Don't get me wrong. But I want to ask them their opinion on Trump because I made a mistake in the last video. I said he named two Supreme Court justices that are pro-life. They're pro-choice. I'm just going to ask them. So you guys protesting abortion today, huh? I just, can I ask you one question? Sure. Do you support Trump? I do. So, the evangelical say he's their Lord and Savior, and so Trump get elected, he's elected two Supreme Court justices. Now, didn't he say that he was going to do pro-lifers? Yes. Do you know both his Supreme Court justices are pro-choice? Uh, Kavanaugh? That's the Bush guy. He could have appointed a pro-lifer, and he didn't. Uh, both, both appointees have come right out in public multiple times says we're pro-choice. So I just trying to figure out why you guys still support Trump. When he said he was going to appoint pro pro-lifers. And he didn't. I mean that's one of the very few things a president can do without Congress. Well he nominates them. Are we being photographed? Videoed. You're on a public street right here, you're protesting. If you're pro you're going to get video. And I'm not a pro-choice or a pro-lifer, but I just think it's outrageous, the hypocrisy, that you guys call him your Lord and Savior, and, you know, your number one issue, well, there's where all our money goes, right there. So, I mean, so he had the opportunity, and he could have got him through. Either one of them would have got through Congress appointing. He had, what's her name, she was the, and she come right out. And he had three appointees with Kavanaugh. Two of the three were pro lifers. They would have flew through Congress because he had the Senate and he had the Congress. And they all the Congress said, we'll point up. Why didn't he? Because well, he's a phony liar. That's why he's not your friend. He is not the, he's not, he's not the, he's not the Bush and, uh, yeah, same thing. Bush, Trump, same thing. Obama, they're triplets. I agree. I agree with that. I agree with you. I agree. You haven't really taken a stand. Yes, I have because. Well, you know, it's a complicated issue, and I don't like abortion. I don't like it, and Utah found it, and I don't. I'm not a fan of it. I'm really not. But my point is, you guys elected. You guys are pro Trump, pro Trump, pro Trump, and elected two pro-choice nominees to the Supreme Court. What we're talking about is abortion is an abomination to God, and we're talking okay. about ending abortion. Okay, then. That's it, what we're talking about. I get about. that. I agree and with I that. I know a lot of people okay. are not, and we could get into a long discussion about No, I agree with you on I mean, I'm, I'm not, I don't like abortion. I agree with you. Right. My point is, Your the point hypocrisy is, is why are you still supporting Trump? So well, what do you recommend? To quit getting fooled at the ballot box. Well, you know? I know for many people. Uh, now, you know who is pro on your side? John Huntsman. Did you support him? I know uh, that politics. He's running for governor. You know, he says, you know, he, all his children are adopted. You know, all his kids are adopted. I, you know, honestly. Again, I that's really... that's the hypocrisy with your crowd. Your crowd is so phony. It's unbelievable. Okay, well, because you support people who are pro-choice, yet you say you are pro-life. You're not pro-choice. That's my point. I'm the guy that's against abortion, not you. You're for abortion. You say you're against it, yet you vote for people that are for it. You want to argue. No, I'm not arguing about I'm anti-abortion. I don't like it. I just told you. I stand you is anti-abortion. I don't support Trump. What have you done? I vote for candidates that are pro-life. Right. Okay. Right. Pro Okay, but we're not going to get drawn into the political because... Because you're... that's who makes these choices. And that's your number one issue. <laughs> the Supreme Court choice. So you don't want to drag in the political, then what are you standing here on a street corner if this is not political? You just bored? <laughs> <laughs> you guys blow my mind. Okay. You are lost. You've been hypnotized. You've been had. You know what? Satan's had you. You know what? Because you are pro... There you're the pro-abortion people. Are you you're the pro-abortion. You are pro-abortion. Have you come to scream at us? Yeah, because that's what you do. You know? I mean, that's what you do. You're you screaming at people coming in here. We're not screaming. We haven't said one word to anyone. <laughs> you're phonies. Phonies.